What's up Sprites and welcome to the Retro Rescue. My name is Austin and we have been hauling again. This time we've been visiting not only a couple of CXs we've been into for a while, but we've visited some charity shops as well. Charity hauling is a good thing and it is not dead. There are still every now and then some decent games worth getting in them. And they're not always, not always, a lot of the time, but not always sports games. It seems that the charity shops um, around always seems to be inundated with FIFA games. Which I don't care for much at all. So, with that said, let's carry on. So, these weren't, like I say, these weren't all charity shops. I will let you know what was. So, uh, we decided we're going to carry on with our collection of N64 games. And we got hold of Two Rock Rage Wars. Now we've got this on the Game Boy Advance, I do believe. Or the Game Boy Color. Possibly both. You tell me down in the description down below. You can have a whinge at me if you like. I got this one because it was cheap. Jeremy McGrath Supercross 200, 2000. Sorry, 200. I thought it might be worth a little look. You know, um, I'm into my motorbikes. So I thought, you know, what would a motocross game look like on the N64? Because I have not seen one. Uh, this one uh, has been looking at me for quite some time. Power Stone on the Dreamcast. Um, and I, I figured, you know, it might be worth a go. Um, it's Like I say, it's just been looking at me for so long now. Um, and again, I, do you know what? It's Capcom and IDOS. I thought, what do they? What would they get up to if uh, they were collaborating? Um, and it will be something like that. So uh, then we got Jet Set Radio. Now, I don't know why, but I think this is a skateboarding game, which I'm really not into. Again, I like the artwork, and it's Dreamcast, it's Sega, it was cheap. But it's in great condition, though. So anyway, so yeah, you can see what that looks like there as well. So, uh, yeah. But then this one um, was a little, felt a little bit more elusive to, to me, and I know I'll get it right. Bangai O. Got to be a Japanese name. Looking at the picture, you can straight away see that it is uh, some form of shooter. So, uh, yeah, I figured it was worth a little go. Um, got a very, very small age rating, so I figured that a young age rating, so I figured it's not going to be anything too anything too bad. But Bangai, oh! Got to be Japanese. I'm not taking the mic. I'm sorry if I've offended anybody by not only pronouncing that wrong, but trying to do a really bad impression. I'm not even going to. Uh, shall I try? Ken Seiden. Who is Ken Seiden? You know... It's a 2 mega cartridge though. Whatever it was, whatever he is, I mean, if that's his first name, his last name must be ridiculously long. Right. Got this on Game Gear. Wonder Boy 3 The Dragon's Trap with cartridge save. Sorry. With password save. There you go. Again, our Master System collection is catching up with the Mega Mega Drive collection, I'll tell you. Right, again, so so uh, that was all CEX stuff, but these three were charity shots, so there wasn't a lot. So Need for, need for Speed, Seed, Need for Speed Pro Street. If you don't know the Need for Speed, um, you know, what that particular franchise is all about, then one you've missed out, two you're living under a rock, three, just, just, just turn off now. Um, Race Driver Grid, I've got Grid 2, Grid Autosport, all the others, all on PC and other consoles, PS3, I've got, I think I've got Autosport as well. So, you know, I, I, I mean, right, well that I picked up for a pound. This I picked up for a pound. It's not, that's, you know, that's... You know, it's nothing at all. Uh, and this one, I don't know if it's going to work on my PC or not. I mean, you've probably seen what my PC specs are, so it should. But you know what you know what it's like. Some older XP and Vista games will not run. So, so I think this is a DirectX 9, possibly even a DirectX 8 game. So it may not run. So I may have to go out to my uh, go out to my workshop, and out of all those parts I've got, might have to make me a retro gaming PC. What do you think? Tron 2.0. Trade uh, played Tron Legacy, and this is the unofficial sequel to the Tron film, not including Legacy. This is technically one that they built to go in between. So uh, it'd be worth having a look at that. That's it. Shock horror. It's a small one. Um. Yeah. 
that's actually it. So yeah, sorry if you're expecting a longer video, but that actually is it. Um, stay in the game and I'll see you next time. That's it. That really is it. I'm actually quite shocked.